All right, guys, welcome back to another live stream A League. Um, it is going to be the MacArthur Bulls taking on Melbourne Victory, both the teams undefeated in the A League standings. It's going to be a cracker game to start off the A League round. Uh, I'm looking forward to these two guys. Um, both of these guys haven't lost yet, they're undefeated. But one of them should be walking away with a lose. But it will be surprising who's going to be. It's going to be a draw. Low 2 1. I'm just testing. Hold on, let me just set up the, the table. Daniel Azani playing his former club, currently uh, MacArthur and now Melbourne Victory. Ah, oh, my tips. I don't know, man. It's going to be a close game. Both of these sides are undefeated. I could possibly go for a draw for this game. Maybe I would consider maybe going for 
Maybe two all makes four, four total goals in a game. Bruno Fornali getting two. That's my prediction. That's my tip. Hold up guys, hold up lads, I'm just going to get food. So these sides want to go to the top of the ladder and that stands out for West Sydney Wonders, uh, my team of course, sitting currently sitting on top of the ladder. These sides want to get themselves a win. It would be possible though.
A uh, bit of a low attendance at Campbelltown Stadium right now. Completely not ideal to like see. This is the lineups for MacArthur FC. They got a couple of good formations in the in this game right now. And here's the Melbourne Victory sideline, uh, the team lineup. Tony Popovic's squad. Bruno Fornali in the striker. With Daniel Lazani as well. Chris Economidis. Are you letting him out? Why, Mom? No, just let, let only let Kiara out. Only let Kiara out, Mom. Mom. Oh my god. She's not coming out because you just let Storm out. Shouldn't have let me out in the first place. You know it's not going to be that good tonight. Might rain tonight like heavily. Who knows. Kickoff is on the way now. Oh, we got Melbourne Victory fans traveling all the way from Melbourne or staying there. Roderick Miranda for the captain for Melbourne's victory. Adama Traore.
Hmm. Some MacArthur's a few boos from the MacArthur Bulls fans against his former club. Against uh, Daniel Azani. I'm gonna check the chips. white shirt surrounding him, hurting him backwards and towards the sideline. You know the danger that he poses. Sorry a bit that bit took too long. So I had to like cook up the chips. Well luckily I've I've got it. I do apologize if I did too long. And MacArthur has the opportunity, has a shoot. An easy time timing for the Melbourne's victory goalkeeper. He had plenty of opportunity, plenty of time. And it's a first yellow card from the MacArthur Bulls. I wasn't paying attention whatsoever, but I believe it was a... Can't really see what happened back there. Yeah. 
And yellow card goes to Aspobotomedes, I believe, if I pronounce it right. First yellow card in the game. That's interesting. Victory, get the ball back, passes it to Adama Traore, and they shift, Justice De Silva, transition to the right, and has to force it out, great defense from MacArthur. Puts the ball high. They go to the left. Trioli has the ball. For Nolly. Ooh, lucky bounce for the MacArthur's goalkeeper. And here's MacArthur's chance. Cowbell's ringing, but desperate save for Melbourne victory. As they get the ball back, goes to Daniel Azani. But Vilico returns the ball, gives it to MacArthur back. Can you guys still hear me? Uh, can you hear like the the audio game right now on the live TV? I just want to know though, because you may not hear it though. MacArthur returning the ball. Two shots at goals in favour of MacArthur. Look how they transit the ball quickly. Here they go. Here's an opportunity for MacArthur. First goal for MacArthur. An easy shot. What a start for MacArthur. Two, 
What more can you say that it was all started from that transition? It was a good good pass there. He got sucked in. That pass gives it to Mercado in the board. Because it is Matthew Miller. So now it's MacArthur 1, Melbourne victory nil. Oh, they're going to be a, a VAR check. This could be interesting. But it in the replay, it did look close. The decision has been upheld, so the, it, the goal will stand for MacArthur. Matthew Miller scores it in the 12th minute. Oh, here they go again. It'll intercept. Here they come, MacArthur. Oh, the ball twisted right into the goalkeeper. It would have been a lucky goal. Melbourne victory gets the ball, but that pass was too deep and MacArthur gets an easy intercept, but it's, it returned from the victory back once again. Oh, what a save for MacArthur. That denies Bruno Fornali to give another responding goal. But Kurto, I believe, it's a desperate save. Denies Bruno Fornali. But it's going to be a corner for Melbourne victory. If Daniel Azani can line up the shot and throw on Da Silva, heads out of nowhere.
generally turn you good, but... Daniel Azani bringing in control. I completely missed it, but he was short in the goalpost. Three corners. Janelle for Melbourne victory. Oh, desperate save again. They looked in. Almost. It's still alive for Melbourne. Another call from Melbourn. He goes short, Daniel Zani. Oh, that was a nasty tackle against his former teammate. Here they go, the Bulls. Shift onto the left, crosses in. Ooh, a lucky, lucky save for the victory. Completely missed it, but Bruno Fornali across the face.
in that area there. He said, I didn't hear or see you. And that striker turned four. I'm shooting from there. But again, that's another good opportunity for the, the league's hottest marksman this season. Oh, the camera keeps falling off. Still play on. Both team sides equality. Here they go, Melbourne victory. In the pit, in the box. They safe from the Bulls. Victory in the danger zone. Cowbell is ringing in the Campbelltown Stadium. Ricochet goes back to the MacArthur player. Good cross. Oh. Pulls it right to the trigger. It's a desperate save from Izzo. Makes that epic save. Thank you. 
Oh, here you go. Oh. Is it came in time? Azani's down. It's a bad landing for him. Against the captain, the villa. Yeah, he caught the foot right and stopped into this boot. Shit happens, you can't do anything about it. Jason Guerrero, he's been an outstanding for Melbourne Victory, oh sorry, Melbourne Victory, just caught up in the hiccup, it allowed me to stop talking for a bit. Just like the ladder as it stands, MacArthur goes on top. Until then, West Sydney are in second. For tomorrow's game against Sid the scumbags, Sydney FC. For the derby game tomorrow night. That's going to be a cracker one. I'll be there for surely.
a free kick goes to the MacArthur. Once again, Kurdo from MacArthur's goalkeeper. Incredible. High rated saves for the Bulls. There you go again, the Bulls. This time an assist. Can this assist be counted? Oh. Just not wanted the, the space to be in. And Bruno Fornaroli. Taking his time to pass to his teammates. And they go to the right. That quick pace of that transition pass. Here they go. Oh, Fawn Raleigh puts that ball. Triggered too hard. That disappointed face tells the truth. Victory started pretty well. Like, unfortunately, it was not getting out of hand. That's the kind of situation that you're trying to, need, you're trying to do. He's a danger man, Bruno Fonorelli. Like last time when they were home, after that international break, they had multiple of errors that they're trying to put the ball in. They couldn't escape with a point, like a three point against the Phoenix. Until then, Da Silva forces off with a penalty. And that's the, that's the problem for Melbourne. Too easy for Kurdo. MacArthur taking a time to find it an easy opening. <sighs> Jason Garrier with the head. Oh, almost pressured the ball. And the captain feels it. They might be checking it though to see if that contact was initial. He felt it though.
Oh, suddenly there was nothing. Completely nothing. Yep. That was definitely nothing from Marandra. Suddenly, a fake play to, to try to get away with. I assume that there was no contact on the knee when he's trying to get that ball away. Ooh, that pass was blocked by Jason Garia. But they have the ball back, the Bulls. It'll be a free kick. Go to the black and white. Uh, they got they got quite a few some of the Melbourne Victory supporters. If I'm saying in the camera view, they just stopped chanting for some reason. Quite typical North Terrace to start in some away games. Russell for MacArthur. Here's some assist. Oh, Izzo with that save. Timed it really well. And Matthew Killer wasn't happy about that jersey grab. Could have been a penalty if he was inside that box. Oh, here they go. An easy shot for MacArthur. Oh my god, he shot right in the crossbar. He was closer to the goal post. I don't know how he missed that. How does he miss that? He was close, right on goal. Drew just somehow shot in the crossbar. It should be an easy goal. Somehow he... He was pleading for that shot, man. He was right the next option. Drew was disappointed. Uh, Booze. Oh, he's giving it another yellow card? Oh no, that's not that's not the same guy in the first place. The captain receives this the yellow card again for MacArthur. That's two cards in the game. Not happy getting yelled at by the referee. Just because it was uh, that that contact earlier. But Melbourne Victory do have they do have the 
uh, yellow card for Melbourne Victory. Well, that's something to rely on though, at least. Three cards in the game. Two yellow cards to one, total up with three. Drew, oh my god, pull the trigger off the track. Crazy. So it looks like two minutes additional time will be added to play until half time. Oh, Kodo's down after that. That nasty gut shot from the ball. Ooh, that is a heavy collusion. He's all right though, up to his feet. Lately, it is drizzling at Campbelltown. Not heavily, chance of heavy rain. If you would identify in that in that state. Yeah, Kodo is down immediately. That means it will kill the time. And the bullpen ultras group rallying it up. I think Kodo is going to be in the bench. Or well, it depends if he's ready to keep playing. And try to save some few goals for MacArthur and saves the game for half time. Silver. He looks lost. 
Can MacArthur find one more goal before half time? No, they can't. And final, but Drew gives it up to Drew. One last goal before half time. Can they make a count? Goes back, right to the left, transition. But that typical Melbourne victory defence saves the day. And Fornerall, it's up to Fornerall if he wants to assist or have a shot. Economides, but pulls that ball right nowhere to go. And that, that will do the game for half time. There'll be no time for to kick out. It'll be half time. MacArthur won Neil Melbourne victory, leading into this game in a very high quality game. Not not the game that I'm seeing right now, but both sides are really compatible. But it's now MacArthur leading one nil at half time with Matthew Kell Miller. Uh, gets the first goal from MacArthur in the 12th minute. Some boos happening from Campbelltown Stadium. Um, don't forget guys if you are watching the live stream whether you are you missed out the whole live stream I'm saying to this right now make sure you subscribe and turn in that bell notification we're almost closing in for 100 subscriber uh, special because I'm doing something about it uh, I need like I think 4 plus 196 subscribers to go so I believe either four or three to go until we reach 100 subscribers. And then I'll do something really special. If you are new, you just came in.
NCIS in Sydney. That's something new. I didn't know NCIS was making in Sydney. Yeah, that collusion from Philip Cotto. That was so heavy. Yeah, this is the A-League player performance goes to Philip Cotto. That is interesting to start off the Friday night game. You know what's really funny? Uh, this sideline from Paramount, right? His accent sounds like UK. It sounds like a bit. But Australia and UK for the accent at the same time. The guy who's talking right now. He 
gets himself in those positions, and that's what he offers the team. Jed Trude could have had the second, and, and they're never out of the game. But like I said, Melbourne victory are far from out of this game as well. It's not just about the missing chances. Um, Tony Popovich talked about this before. He says sometimes they're just getting defended well, and that's what Kurt, Kurt Dow does. Like I said, he's been great in goals. He's making some great saves. But the fact that he has to make so many saves suggests that you're going to get chances. And I think, like I said about Arzani, if you're poking that bear, eventually he's going to make one of those moments of magic, which he always does. And Bruno will be there. No doubt in my mind that Bruno will be there to take that chance. So um, it's 1-0, but it's hardly a boring one. They'll call four goals at the start of the game. It could be four. It could be five already. Um, there's definitely going to be goals in the second half. <laughs> He's having, he's having it. That is very good for Matildas. Up against Canada. How is it? Come on, you Matildas. I'm desperate wanting to go to the Matildas game. Fortunately, they they haven't announced it yet, and I still haven't researched on what's their next game. Whether it's going to be at Combank or freaking Aqua Stadium or Alliance Stadium, I don't know. All I'm saying is that if it was playing for Combank, then I would have attended there if if I had the chance to. Stretchy. I just had a pre uh, preseason training yesterday.
And we are, are back here for the second half. As Matthew Miller scores the opening half at 12th minute. Jake Bremer in substitution for Melbourne Victory. As second half, we get right on the way. Can Melbourne Victory respond something? It is live streaming. Just gonna carry this one back. I'll be back. <laughs> It's getting cold, isn't it? Yeah, I should wear a jumper. Not getting, not getting flu tomorrow. Sorry for for the interruption. Oh, hey, mum, mum, mum. Oh shit, she can't hear me.
It's getting cold right now. The degree is going low. Here we are, my West Sydney drip. Hopefully this will give you an attention. This actually fits perfectly. It's close up to the mic. It goes through once again. Beats one, but can't beat another two. Oi, Maggie, can you tell Mom that I want pancakes? Should I have this on me? Because you can't see clearly like my full face. Oh. Yeah, I should get a light. Maybe I'll just get there like maybe half, 10 minute and I'll go get the, the lights. Oh no, it looks stupid. And a yellow card has been received for Melbourne Victory, and this time it's Adama Traore. The winner will go, like I said, the winner goes on top, and MacArthur once again goes on top of the ladder from now on. No good for us, though. Well, victory goes to transition. It'll be a corner. Lewis is not telling. You're telling the truth, though. Look, I'm not going for these neither sides. All I want is a draw. That's my prediction. But these two sides giving their chances. This cunt saying, "Come on, MacArthur." 
And he's holding up a fucking sword. This guy is inaccurate. Oh, the bull's going in again. They're halfway to the box. An easy pass. He's off to the e Izzo. Here they go, victory. Here's some couple of Melbourne Victory supporters in the away bay. Jake Brimmer with that shit assist. Puts that ball in the low deck. Another desperate save from the Bulls. Let me see if there's like settings. No, you can't do anything. Like you can't add up like the scoreboards and taxes throughout this live stream. I was looking for that, but no, it won't. That shit won't happen. It's a foul play for the. MacArthur. Jake Brimmer onto the halfway box. Little one two. Ooh, he could have been a have a penalty in the box. Nah, this referee is no joke. Some referees. Completely not what you wanted. It's been only 92 minutes since I live streamed it now. 
pretty strange out there since I've live streamed like lot. I think it was like two weeks ago, I believe. Yeah, it was two weeks ago since I live streamed for Nuali. Adam Traore ricocheted it to the MacArthur, the Maccas, and they will get their ball back. The ball was deflected from the MacArthur. Ooh, Bimmer curved that ball over the corner. Yep. Just getting my pancake. Just like that, um, there's a substitution for MacArthur. Jed Drew has been substituted. Oh, he caught up right in the face. And that means Adama Trio gives receives another yellow card. It'll be a, a red card immediately. Yikes, that's hurtful from a Melbourne victory. And that, they're now to one man down. Adama Traore, goodbye for you, mate. <laughs> oh, MacArthur Conspiracy. Oh, MacArthur's Conspiracy. I just made that up. I made that shit up. Or maybe, maybe... Maybe I was wrong. It's not MacArthur. Maybe it's Melbourne. I should read that one. Oh, Melbourne conspiracy. There we go. That's the... That's the right way to say. So, Dama Traore, um being given a, a red card. Two yellow cards in total. In the 62th minute. And... Victory is one man down. Can they do this? One man down. Oh, that ball triggered not to that goal. Almost, almost that, that response the Melbourne victory needed. I'm pretty sure some players are really mature enough for what they're doing. The fuck, how did I fucking miss the fork? What a save from Izzo, denies the MacArthur, and Mel victory, they're still in this contest. It's four saves for both of these sides, four saves, which makes eight in total. Goes to Daniel Azani, victory in the left, crosses in. Save.
by Donnie with a little flick of root. And it's a yellow card from Daniel Azani. Ducked into Lewis, his former player for MacArthur. I mean, it was a fair call from the referee. It's another yellow card to be added for Melbourne Victory. And I'll tell you what, Black Friday right now. It's fucking heated and packed right now. I was asked to like buy a a, a stuff that would would superiorly surprises me though. Like, I wanted to go to buy something, like, at Black Fridays, but unfortunately, people was, there were so many people out there to buy stuffs. Because the price went down so lowly, man. Nathan Cleary. And it'll be a free kick for the Melbourne victory. I wasn't paying attention to all of that. But it's up to Philip Curto to save this one if the ball curves into this direction. Let's see if Melbourne victory can make this count. In the 68th minute, just saves it. Immediately, right the direction that he wanted Curto. And Jake Brimmer knew that kick was inevitable. That area was easy for Kurdo to open with. Still 1-0, uh, MacArthur leading and trialling Melbourne um, victory in his tight contest at Campbelltown. Oh my gosh, man. Heading into seventh, 70th minute. There's still a lot of time from these needed to these two sides, but like I said earlier, I wanted this, this game to be a draw. 
so that uh, uh, West Sydney Wanderers, if we win against those scumbags in the next tomorrow night against Sydney FC, would highly chance be like uh, three points ahead. But I think MacArthur can hold this one if they're smart enough, though. Miller. There's a lot of dramas back there in the Campbelltown. They're saying it's a penalty. Accidental and a yellow card has been given from a MacArthur coach for somewhat reason. It's up against uh, Kulchowski, I believe. Stachowski, yep. The coach of MacArthur. This game has gone wild. Stachowski from the coach. And another substitution for MacArthur, Jake Holman coming in. And now Ali Algolo replacing Matthew Miller, the guy who scored earlier in the first half. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'm just going to get the lights because it's going to get dark for a bit.
Lo 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 Hey, fuck off, Sydney FC. Pumped and keen for tomorrow. As you can see, it's got the LED light, the lights on. Here's an opportunity for Makata, and the Silva gives off to Izzo with no chance for the Bulls to add up the, the score line. Oh, why is my hair like, like this? There we go. Fawn Rolly. He's been quiet, but mostly... Here's a chance. Closely saved the full MacArthur. They survived it. Marandra gives is over the ball back and returning it. Oh, here's a chance for MacArthur. This is going to be an easy shot from the box. Oh, he beats one. Oh, what a save from Da Silva. Oh, my God. How does he save that? Melbourne victory are in this contest. MacArthur has been killing off with this opportunity. He, he's been... Um, Jason Gear, I believe, with that, that maneuver, but the silver luckily saved it. Bald pass right to Izzo, but then the silver out of nowhere. But it'll be a corner for MacArthur if they can put this ball into the net. It's blocked away from victory. Bowman, oh, oh, it's spilled. Can't take it. Yeah, it's been offside for MacArthur. Damn, this game has gone wild. A tight contest in the in the drizzling rain. Oh, here they go. Makatha blocked away. And victory saves this space for Nuroli. Wasting no time. Wants to play the ball quickly. Great play, defense from the black and white. You heard it, it's gonna be, there is 10 minutes to go. Neither of these sides want to, to end the night with the high. Hopefully one of these sides can get something. I would highly be surprised if Victory gets this goal. And then ends up with a draw. That will be showing some good signs. <sighs> Man. 
head-to-head -head goalkeepers Izzo and Curdo. Five saves for both of these teams, especially these goalkeepers, makes ten. These big chances cost us a lot of goal chances throughout the whole evening. They've been quiet, the victory supporters. They're not even doing anything. They're just sitting there watching the whole game being lazy cunts. Not completely active. Taking an easy time? No. Jermaine's been replaced by Daniel Da Silva. Substitute for MacArthur. Nishan Valupale, he's been quiet, this young gun. Yep, definitely a free kick for that one. A lazy play from Melbourne Victory's Adams player.
you don't understand these songs unless you're from this city. But I think they're that iconic that it's all over Australia. And if you don't know any of these songs, you're either under the age of 16 or you're not conscious. At number three, we have the One Buck Eight. Do you remember One Buck Eight? What happened to that song? That's the most iconic song. Summer Middle East was obviously later in days. What is this? The fuck are they filming at? Somehow in Blacktown, there's something filming back there. I don't know what they're filming at, but there is somewhere in Blacktown. Now we're heading to the 88 minute. Oh, I don't know about that call. This referee is not doing his job properly. We are checking for having a look for what some reason. Is this inside the box? Oh yeah, it might be in the box though. Yeah, play on. No freak, no penalty for. No victory what they wanted, Bruno. Again. That respondation costing Melbourne victory for something that they have been given up for. I wanted the, the MacArthur players to keep going, but they stopped. So five minutes additional time. 
Can Melbourne Victory find something with a late goal? This will be their first loss victory. They will take no remorse. We're almost about to end this live stream here. He had the better, um, what's that word? He had the better chances against one on one contest. Oh my god, brilliant piece defending from MacArthur, now they're off, it's hard one to take for Melbourne, they were closing up to the goal post, no one nominating to shoot the goal, again here, here comes the Bulls, Here they almost, uh, we're almost up to five minute additional time and it looks like it's going to be MacArthur winning the unbeaten start, they're continuing the start but Melbourne's victory unbeaten run has a complete stop having their first loss in the season after MacArthur uh, scoring for Matthew Miller in the 12th minute, MacArthur with a Big win at Campbelltown Stadium. Nishan Valupale. Oh, oh my God! Oh my! What did I saw? What could have I've asked? What have I just witnessed? All of this I just said is that MacArthur's gonna win this in the nearly minute, but then Bruno Fornali scores in an absolute empathetic fashion to end this half. Can you imagine that? What have I just seen? Bruno Fornali saves the game from Melbourne Victory. It's deja vu from MacArthur. I wasn't ex 
and I wasn't surprised about this right now. I completely called this one. Like I said in the early prediction, it was going to be a draw. And Bruno Fornali, again, the danger man, has saved the game for Melbourne Victory. Save, hold your breath for them if you're a Melbourne Victory supporter. Oh, that is actually a heartbreak for MacArthur FC. And that is it. Oh my god, what a turn of event. What a way to turn up the table. MacArthur. Oh my god. I think MacArthur may still be on the, t the top. And so there's a... Melbourne victory, they'll be in second and MacArthur while West Sydney are in the third. But the goal difference could be close if we win against Sydney FC. But oh my god, I wasn't expecting for this result. Just what I said, there was deja vu happening. I knew it, it, was, it, might, it, was, it might have been an own goal. Yeah, it was an own goal for MacArthur. So I was wrong. All of this was Bruno Fornali. Oh shit, my bad. It wasn't Bruno Fornali. It was an own goal. Holy dang. Hard break for MacArthur, man. But at least their both of these sides have not lost any game yet. But a dr another draw will be added to the list for these two clubs. I thought Bruno Bruno scored that one, but it turned out it was an own goal for MacArthur. I didn't see it because I saw the leg though. That's what I'm seeing. I don't know, it could be an own goal from the MacArthur or it's Bruno Fornali. But from my eyes, I believe it was Bruno Fornali. He might have celebrated as soon as the, the MacArthur player had his leg straight into that opposite uh, goal. But then again, it, it, at least it showed uh, the scoreboard that it was an own goal for MacArthur. That's hard one to take in at the sudden death. Da 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 Fuck the victory Fuck the victory Melbourne boys are still number two That's some hard way to positive to take for MacArthur. They wanted a three point in the bank.
next week against Adelaide. But this is a completely different Macarthur like Bulls now. You're going into games knowing that you can win games. And I think the team's coming here knowing that you can win them as well. They, got, they can't stop. They, they got to stop getting draws. But I understand that though. But having like so many draws is completely irrelevant. It's such a boring thing to like get that result. If it wasn't for Drew, then he would have have like two nil. But he has some like missed shots. Yeah, that anguish expression tells the feeling for Macarthur, and well, and so is the the Macarthur Bulls fans. They're well, truly heartbroken for this for this result tonight. My God, what a game! Just like that, MacArthur Bulls won, Melbourne Victory won. And I completely asked before that time, when I said it earlier, I thought they were going to walk away with this win, MacArthur. Completely deja vu. Uh, I'm about to like end this live stream if you guys aren't here maybe obviously I'm checking the views but if you guys are watching from the live stream that I have lived before and you were not intending Sydney Derby it is tomorrow go get yourself a ticket it is still sale right now and if you guys do catch me I'll be at the bay um, at the opposite way of the cove and if you see any Fucking Sydney FC cunts watching like abusing you some shit those East and Sydney cunts what backing you up with some shit Fucking abuse them. No one gives a fuck about East and Sydney cunts We're the West Sydney who who does it for you We're the real ones who shows what Sydney is and that is the time that we paint Sydney red and black Like I said, West Sydney is the, the, the team that you do not want to underestimate. Tomorrow, go get yourself a sleep. I'm about to end this live stream for 10 minutes. Right now it's 9.50, so I'll end it like 10 minutes. Alright guys, I'm going to end this live stream. Like I said, Sydney Derby is tomorrow uh, against the Eastern Sydney cunts, those scumbags in the Eastern sides. West Sydney versus Sydney FC. It's going to be a, a massive game in the Sydney Derby. Get yourself a ticket. If you haven't not, just go check yourself up. Um, I'll be at the, the Derby game at Lions Stadium. If you do catch me, come say hi. And if you... And I'll give you guys a, a message. If you guys do see like any fucking Eastern Sydney sub supporters, scumbags, the, all those East Sydney cunts, 
trying to abuse you, just fucking abuse them up once again. There's no game without fans. This time it's gonna be about no respect. This is about passion. Showing your area, showing the West Sydney of who we are. But anyway guys, this is JG's. This has been this live stream. If you guys do love it, make sure you drop a like. Turning that bell notification so you never miss any videos that I'll be uploading in this coming week. Also every time. But yeah guys, JG's will be signing out and I'll catch you guys for the Sydney Derby Match Day vlog. Cheers everyone. Hold on.